Well, the Dixieland Historic Neighborhood Association uh, is the oldest historic neighborhood designated in Lakeland, to my knowledge. Uh, we are a uh, neighborhood of unique um, bungalows, other historic buildings, pueblos, and that sort of thing. We have started up as of 2009 with our reorganization of the Neighborhood Association. Uh, this year we've received a $5,000 grant, which is wonderful for us. We have big plans for that. Last year we put our $2,500 grant to completely full use. Uh, we had our first Art Fest, and then we had a huge event for National Night Out in August. We had Dixieland Turns It On for Kids. We had um, a bike obstacle course for kids to do. We also were very fortunate in that we were able to uh, measure children for free bicycle helmets. We held that in Dobbins Park. And Dobbins Park is on Ariana Street. It's a big asset to Dixieland, and it is one of the most used parks in Lakeland. We have our second annual art show coming up and that will be at the uh, parking lot behind the Dixieland Mall between Hunter and Patterson Street. We had a very successful first event and we're looking forward to a larger number of artists with food vendors and hopefully uh, a lot of traffic through. And Dixieland Elementary is a Class A school. It's a school where uh, Governor Lawton Child went to and they really are a wonderful asset to uh, coordinating with us. And we will also include them in our Art Fest, as we did last year. So it's not only the community itself, but we're trying to network with other uh, parts of our neighborhood, uh, such as schools and businesses, uh, and it's working out very well. Also work in close contact with the community redevelopment people at Lakeland Government, helping business owners on South Florida between Ariana and Walnut uh, with a uh, grant where they will help businesses to do facade improvement and then the increase in taxes that comes from those new businesses goes back into the fund to help other businesses coming along. So that's really been uh, a big boon for us as residents of Dixieland. Cause Our neighborhood is a mixture of, of, uh, of buildings, some of which uh, suffer from uh, absentee landlords, unfortunately, who do not intend to do any property improvement and also rent to people who are, don't seem to be concerned about property improvement. So that is one of our uh, problems here in Dixieland. However, over the last several years, we've had more people coming in, buying homes and renovating them. So as you travel through now, you'll see more improvement street by street than you did years ago. We're currently getting a system of sidewalks which will connect South Florida to our Lake Hunter uh, on all of our streets save one which is Hunter and that's very difficult to put sidewalks because of the huge trees that block the right-of-way for that. But all the other streets will be interconnecting between our lake and Florida Avenue which will make this a very walkable neighborhood. And we feel that the more walkability we have in the neighborhood uh, the less crime we can have. We have a website it's www.dixielandna.com, and I will say our website gets three to 4,000 hits a month, which is phenomenal. We are on Facebook, and we are also on Twitter. We don't charge uh, membership dues as a neighborhood. Uh, we meet on the third Tuesday of every month at 6.30 right here in the center of Dixieland at the New Beginnings Baptist Church and that's located at 404 West Belmar Street. We have a meeting every single month. We usually honor one of our businesses by giving them a business spot where they can come and talk to us about what they do. 
uh, that's been beneficial for us because sometimes they bring coupons that we can redeem at their businesses. And we also have uh, a guest speaker each month on something uh, pertinent to the neighborhood. We've